In this video, I'd like to show you how you can work with coordinate systems in FME. How you can determine the coordinate system from the source data, how you can infer the definition uh, if it is missing on that source, how you can set the coordinate system definition in FME, how you can perform a reproject, and how you can also add a custom coordinate system if FME does not have that defined. So to determine the coordinate system of, of source data, I use the Universal Viewer. And it will come up. And we can go in and we can load some data, like so. Data, parks, and load in a, a tab file. Now there's two spots where the coordinate system is reported. Uh, here we see it in the log file. We can see the coordinate system name and its definition right here. In addition, when you cl click on a feature, you also see the coordinate system defined right here. Uh, if it is not defined on the source data, then this will be blank and this would be blank. So to infer it, you can kind of hold your cursor over the features and then come down to the bottom right and look at the coordinate system window. And you can see the, the first thing I can infer is it's not lat long because the numbers are much too large. And so I tend to use these numbers as a way to infer the coordinate system. Uh, and, you, and you probably have your own local coordinate system that would match up with those numbers. So that's how you can infer it. How can you set the coordinate system in definition? Well, I'm going to generate a workspace. Pick the tab data and go out to shape for, for fun. So now we're going from uh, map info tab to shape file. And if we, if we assume this, this uh, data set didn't have a coordinate system defined, we could come to the navigator and we could define that coordinate system in here. Uh, if we know the short name, we can use it. Or especially if we know the EPS G code, we can use that as well. If we only know the short name and don't know the EPS G code, we could come in here and type TX83 and then pick it from the list. There's the option right there. Or if we knew it was in Texas, we could filter down by Texas. There are a lot of options, so it will may take a little bit of investigation to find the correct coordinate system. But I know this one's TX83CF or 2277 is the EPSG code. So that defines it on the source, but now how do I reproject it if I wanted the output to be, say, lat long? Well, I would come into the destination or the writer here and I would set that to something like LL84 or EPSG4326, which is lat long geographic, like so, and then you run it. Another way to reproject, if these are, are unset, let's go back to those being unset, is to use a reprojector transformer. A reprojector transformer allows you to pick the source and the destination. Again, the source, if this is if the coordinate system is defined either in the navigator or on the features that, that are coming in, the, the source data, then this will you won't have to set this source. The destination you can set to whatever you want again. Just like so. And the difference is this reprojection will be done in the flow here rather than that, than at the very end. And lastly, if you do have a coordinate system that's not defined in FME, you can always come in here to the help, go to about coordinate system, custom coordinate systems, and there's a whole uh, bunch of documentation on how you can add them, how you can share them, um, local coordinate systems, generic parameters, the whole thing. So it's all in there for how to define your own, and uh, that's how you can start to work with coordinate systems in FME. So I uh, hope that was uh, useful. Thanks for your time.